Hi, it's me, Vamp, and welcome to the channel. Now, I want to talk about the status of the updates on console, but before that, I do want to mention that there is a giveaway currently going on that is open to all platforms. It's a giveaway for a Frost Prime and an Ember Prime dual pack. If you guys would like to have a chance at participating in that giveaway. The details are in a video I did um, in the past on my other channel. Um, definitely go check out that video. I'll leave a card in the, you know, top right hand corner, click the I. And feel free to check out that for details. Feel free to enter, but yeah. Here we are. Oh, and that giveaway is for all platforms, by the way. Okay, so here we have PS4 of Deimos Interim Update 29.2.1. This is also the same thread that's over on the Switch and uh, Xbox One as well. So here we are. To talk about how it's going to include any everything from 29.0.7 to 29.2.1. Um, let's see, that is 20 pages worth of notes. Now, keep in mind, this is in development, so they haven't actually got this yet. <clears throat> you know, it's set and ready to go. They might end up cherry picking a few things, but yeah. Okay, <clears throat> we're gonna go through the tide thing real quick because this is basically explaining. In development means they're putting together a build based on PC hot fixes and fixes for console. Insert means they send the update off to Nintendo, Microsoft, and Sony so they can approve the update, make sure the update, not that it doesn't have any bugs, but that it doesn't break, that it doesn't break the consoles. Because if it breaks the console, that's bad for various reasons. And yeah, <clears throat> that's basically that. Now, let's, I'll put a link to this in the description below, but we are going to go over some slight things, you know. They fix Necromac UI. That is all good and dandy. As you can see here, we have these fancy skins for <clears throat> weapons. Now, I think they missed the chance to do an image on, of all the starter frames. See, there's Ball, there's Excalibur. If Magret's here, that would be all three starter frames. But instead, they chose Ember. I wonder why. Huh? Oh, well. Anyway, this is the Okra series. It's, it's supposed to be an homage to the original. Uh, okay, so yeah, the it when apparently once its update comes out, you'll be able to purchase the stuff for platinum. You'll be able to purchase a staff skin, pistol skin, chest plate, throne blade skin, um, rifle skin, bow skin, leg plate, shoulder plate. Um, Longsword Skin, Sagatra, and Cyan Donna. Now, I'm curious what the Longsword Skin looks like because the Excalibur kind of looking away, so we don't get a good view <clears throat> of it, if I'm being honest. But, I guess we'll see soon enough. Um, let's see, we have the Necromex Sigil. Um... Okay. Okay, and apparently you get the, if you buy the Void Rig skin. Oh, okay, okay. 
The void red skin looks like it's a skin for... Hmm. Oh, okay. This is what we're talking about. Sorry, I got distracted for a moment because these pictures... Um, some stuff is under it, some stuff is over it. But yeah, it looks like K-Drive skin. So we finally get to use the purple people eater or green people eater or dragonflies um, as um, skins on our K-Drive. That's it. Okay, okay. I... I have two, I'm in two minds about this. On one hand, it's awesome. Everyone gets to do it if they want to. But then, on the other hand, what about scrawls? I mean, you, I mean, I guess no one can see your scrawl anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. But also, the, the fact that, you know, you can't impress your squad by being not, or knowing how to press a button out in the wild now. Now you just, you know, have it and there you go. But I digress. I digress. Okay. Let me know what you guys think of this. That, it does that look pretty cool. Um, I'll probably go for the green one. You know, dragonfly maximize. Okay. Moving on. Um. Okay, so these are Zaku changes and fixes. Now, they are not, um, we aren't getting round two of changes, but we are getting round one of changes, which is better than no changes at all. We are also getting the mark for death. I get nerf. Okay, he, that's the thing. They changed Mark for Death again. I'm wondering if we're gonna get that change as well. So yeah. Okay, Necromax will no longer be able to interact with vampires or hack alarm towers in the Plains of Eidolon. It basically it fixes things that would be broken. Otherwise, Necromech drop chain table to have a mix of mods in the as well as on the Necromech outright remove neck and intensify pressure point from the drop added them for standing. That's what I've been waiting for. I've been waiting like a month for this particular update. Maybe not a month. I'm actually being pretty dramatic. But you'll get the point. Okay. Let's see. Currently a three minute cooldown on every use of to summon gear. They've changed the cooldown behavior to summon reflect on the follower. If the player necromech is still active then the necromech only had a 10 second cooldown. Oh, okay. Because, see, the thing is that... The thing is that I always had a habit of summoning a Necromech too far away from me. But, yeah. Um, so that's a good change. I like that. Um, let's see. Reduce the Necromech shocking iron Ability sound loop chain necromech deflection mod to um, name to necromech redirection since you use redirection for mech shield that makes sense and a whole bunch of fixes <laughs> okay 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 that that just that just was funny to me, you know, a whole bunch of pictures. Oh, they mentioned the Railjack resource thing. Definitely, um, you know, the script has been completed already. Um, 
if you are going to my video about that let me a card top right hand corner and yeah everything else seems like little minor stuff definitely also don't tell steve i tell little minor stuff then of it over this i didn't mean it i didn't mean it but anyway <laughs> you guys this video is going on for a while longer than i Matt for it too, so I'm going to end the video here. Like I said, I'll leave a card um, definitely in the description. Feel free to check it out. And if you haven't entered the giveaway, feel free to do that as well. And with that said, I will catch you in the future. Later.